A former teacher of the year accused of sexual and lewd acts with students is back in court. Why she could be facing less time in prison. He's seeing as many as 84,000 people per day. Another busy day at the airport as people head home. We are there live with how it's looking right now. Plus, we take you inside an Amazon facility as millions of people shop online for Cyber Monday. You're watching CBS 8 Mornings at 6. Thank you so much for being here at 6 a.m. here on this Monday, everyone. I'm Eric Connor, And I'm Carrie Lane in for Netta Ranpour. The Santa Ana winds are keeping things dry today, but we could be seeing some rain in the near future. Let's check in now with meteorologist Evan Rani for a look at our forecast here. And once again, we kind of have this up and down yeah. pattern that's going on here. A little roller coaster yeah. ride that will be on uh, today and tomorrow, mild, dry, and then we'll cool down with some showers by the middle of the week. And then we'll warm up again by the upcoming weekend. So we'll drop midweek temperatures across the board. Will, and we'll also see that influx of cloud cover. But for today, we are enjoying a dry and mild day. Temperatures in the 70s this afternoon as those Santa Ana winds slowly die down. Santa Ana winds are also keeping our overnight low temperatures chilly. However, upper 40s along the coast, upper 40s inland, but some spots the farther east you go are moving toward the low 40s out there. Uh, again, by the afternoon, comfortable and dry, but here's where you are walking out the door right now. Even some 30s out there. El Cajon is at 39, Ramona at 30. Six degrees. Back to you. Evan, thank you. Today is traditionally one of the busiest travel days of the year. Many people making their way back home this morning after the holiday weekend. Yeah, take a look at all this traffic at LAX last night. How do things look right now at San Diego International? Let's check in with CBS 8's Regina Yorita for the latest at how the airport looks out there. Regina. Yeah, well, good morning, guys. Uh, definitely sad to know that Thanksgiving is over, but uh, now people are starting to head back home, and that's what we're seeing right here at the San Diego International Airport. The good thing is the TSA line isn't so bad today. You know, it is one of the historically, it is one of the busiest days, but the TSA line is moving along as more people start to get here at the San Diego International Airport. Uh, but some travelers have been uh, coming here since yesterday uh, trying to return back home and here's what they told us while they're traveling uh, yesterday and today. Hmm. Definitely busier than normal. Yes, because I believe it is the busiest travel day of the year in the United States and the world. And the San Diego County Regional Airport Authority says Sunday and Monday are historically the busiest travel days of the Thanksgiving holiday weekend. So today is expected to be another busy day. Airports across the nation have been experiencing delays and cancellations. According to the FlightAware website, more than 7,000 flights were delayed Sunday with 46 cancellations. Here at the San Diego International Airport, we've been checking the flight boards all morning. As of right now, there are no current cancellations, but we have seen over a dozen flights being delayed all from different airlines. Most of them have only been delayed by 20 minutes. There's also others that are departing sooner than planned. Uh, there's also one air one flight that we noticed I think from Dallas um, that is being delayed by two hours. So if you're heading to Dallas, definitely check your flight status. Uh, some of the airports as well uh, tell us, you know, to plan ahead and arrive at least two hours early if you're coming here. So back out here live right now. TSA line is moving along. That's good news for those who are heading, uh, departing from the San Diego International Airport. But just a reminder for those flying out of the airport, uh, there is still lots of construction going on because of the new Terminal 1 project. So expect some congestion around uh, the old Terminal 1 as well as on the roads heading to the airport. Stick around. We'll have more from the San Diego uh, Regional Authority Airport. Sorry, excuse me. The San Diego uh, Regional Authority Airport uh, to talk about what has been going on, uh, how many flights they've been seen departing within the last week. I'll send things back to you guys. All right, Regina, thank you. And if you're going to be hitting the road, here's a look at the latest gas prices out this morning. Right now, the average for a gallon of regular in San Diego, 503. We were paying 549 one month ago. Right now, deputies are looking for whoever shot a man in Lakeside. They already arrested one person accused of stabbing a teenager. It happened Saturday night at an apartment complex on Woodside Avenue. Deputies found the man who was shot. He is expected to survive. A 16-year-old boy was stabbed. He has already been released from the hospital. Deputies say they arrested a minor in connection to the stabbing, but they have not yet found the shooter.
Today, former National City Elementary School teacher Jacqueline Ma is expected in court. The 34 year old is accused of committing sexual acts with one of her students and lewd acts with another. Both were students at Lincoln Anchors Elementary School. In September, we learned a plea deal could be in the works. It would likely mean less prison time and would open the possibility for parole. Now, a preliminary hearing is currently scheduled that will begin on Wednesday. Meantime, a North County substitute teacher will also be in court today. Police say he molested a 13 year old girl. The girl's mother told Oceanside Police that she caught 27 year old Connor Shinovi in a parked car with a teen in Oceanside. Shinovi worked as a substitute teacher in the Vista Unified School District. He also worked for the All Girls Seaside Water Polo Club based in Carlsbad. So far, no other victims have been identified. All right, turning to Cyber Monday here at 605. More than 71 million Americans are expected to shop today's sales, according to the National Retail Federation. Yeah, CBS 8's Chris Groh, he is at the Amazon warehouse in Otay Mesa this morning with a behind the scenes look into this very busy shopping day. Hey, good morning, guys. It's good to be back here, but where are we? Well, we're inside of an Amazon sorting center right here on Cyber Monday. There may not actually be many more busy places like this going on in the country right now. We're here on Otay Mesa Road. Want to bring in Casey here with Amazon. And Casey, we know today, Cyber Monday, we know a lot of consumers are going to be hitting click. But yeah. there are so many people working hard inside of this building right now. Yeah, absolutely. Super excited you're here. Um, big day, it's our Super Bowl, right? So we're processing 3 million packages a week right now. That's done through our incredibly talented associate base, our advanced robotics and our AI, AI technology. And we're seeing that all on hand right now. You said 3 million per week. I want to make sure that people uh, understand that. We know that with Cyber Monday, folks are going to be spending a little bit more money. People are going to be making sure uh, that obviously here that they're able to fulfill uh, and to sort all of that. So what's going on today specifically? Uh, obviously increased staff, that type of thing? Yeah, absolutely. Increased staff. So we've increased our staff by about 300%. What we have going on behind us is this is some of our robotics technology. So you see this associate right here is inducting one package per drive. This side alone does 9,000 packages per hour. Total floor does 18,000 packages. This is really a day that highlights Amazon scale, reliability and efficiency in its logistics network. Yeah, and Casey, we're seeing it right here again with this technology. Uh, this does feel like we're in a, in a bit of a sci-fi movie right now. You see this every day, but this is the robotics that make this possible, right? Absolutely. So brand new technology. There's only 12 of these buildings in the United States. Wow. Awesome. Well, Casey, thank you so much. We know that your team hard at work here on this Cyber Monday. And folks, we know, of course, you guys are going to be hitting that click, that click, that click. But remember, every time you hit that click button, Something here happens. We're seeing this magic unfold. We'll be with you all morning. Back to you. Pretty incredible to see that operation there, right? Yeah, that's uh, impressive. They're keeping busy this time of year, yeah. those two Amazon warehouses. Uh, we are working for your wallet here this morning to protect your money. We do have some tips from the Better Business Bureau to make sure you don't fall for any Cyber Monday scams. So beware of false advertising and fake websites. If a price seems too good to be true, well, it probably is. Also, shop with trustworthy sellers on secure sites only. You can check their business profile on BBB.org, review the rating, and then read the customer reviews. Also, use your credit card because debit cards don't offer the same protection. Finally, look for phishing scams, which are unsolicited emails, texts, or even calls. I asked on X if you're planning to shop here today. Here's the results of that poll. Not very many of you are just ready to spend. The majority instead are, are saying it depends on the deal. Uh, but a lot of you, 40%, saying, nah, I'm going to pass. Maybe you already, uh, you know, you hit up the Black Friday deals and uh, you don't want to you know, spend any more money. Well, and I think what fluctuates this this year versus years in the past is that all the deals come out so much sooner oh, now, right? Like everybody absolutely. used to line up, used to wait for Black Friday, but now you can get the deal starting November 1st. And they just have come out and said that these retailers are saying oh, all week long we're doing Black it's Friday deals. Yeah. So then why do you even weekend. need to wait for Cyber Monday? Yeah, exactly. I mean, hey, Small Business Saturday, hopefully you went out and shopped. That's right. And you can still, of course, always support those small businesses. But yeah, I mean, I, in my head, I'm like, oh, right, Amazon, they like <laughs> we they just make it a whole weekend kind of right. thing. You can go on really at any point and get those deals. That so sunrise behind That's cool. Ooh, absolutely yeah. beautiful. beautiful. Also the Evan. full moon that we have. So gorgeous. you can look outside and enjoy what a gorgeous start to our Monday it is. This is, uh, you know, 
a Black Friday gift for you as well, or a Cyber Monday. Get outside, away from the screen, and go enjoy the outdoors. It's a cold start to the morning, so remember that well, as you walk outside this morning and for the next about hour or two, we're going to be holding on to some 30s and 40s out there. But by the afternoon, we've got widespread 70s on the way. Uh, Ramona easily warranting a jacket as you head out the door at 36 degrees. Same with Poway at 40. La Mesa is at 47, along with downtown San Diego. So it is a chilly start to the day. Jacket will come in handy. You'll be able to peel that off by mid morning. Clouds are with us, but infrared hasn't been doing the greatest job of showing how they are not all as dense as it seems out there. We have some high clouds that we're working through for the most part. That's really all the trouble we have on hand. But these offshore Santa Ana winds are going to keep the views like this on hand for today and tomorrow. When you look at your high temperatures, 71 degrees is what we're going for as that afternoon high, mostly sunny skies. And while 71 is not all that warm, it is above average, average being 68 degrees, mostly sunny. Offshore winds are going to stay at about 10 to 15 miles per hour and die down through the day and tomorrow. Those winds are weakening, cooler and cloudier starting Wednesday, Wednesday through Friday. That Three day stretch Wednesday, Thursday, Friday has a daily opportunity for us to see some showers in the mix and likely culminate to maybe even a few hundredths to tenths of an inch. Yeah, we could see one to two tenths of an inch, especially as you start to make your way east. So we'll watch out for that cooler and cloudier stretch Wednesday through Friday and then on the back end as the weekend approaches and as early next week comes around, we'll start to warm up. Let's check in on traffic at 611 as the clock stands right now. Uh, 163 northbound, eight westbound, smooth sailing. Coronado Bridge, you're seeing some slightly slower speeds. You are down to nine miles per hour. There's a decent amount of traffic. It'll take you 15 minutes or so to get across the uh, Coronado Bridge there from downtown to Coronado. Coronado. Uh, let's check in on border wait time. San Ysidro port of entry. 75 minute wait is what you're looking at. Otay Mesa port of entry going to take you about an hour and 40 minutes to get across. CBS8.com slash traffic can also give you the latest on what your morning commute looks like. Back to you. Still ahead, a horrifying moment for families on a Disneyland ride. Plus, emotional reunions as Hamas releases Israeli hostages. What's happening now as a truce expires today? And a three-year cruise was just canceled. Wait until you hear what passengers did as they got ready for the lengthy trip.